and one click. Yeah, that's my guess. Okay. Let's let's let's. And I'm completely. I, I have no expertise in in driving traffic uh, from social media, so. <coughs> I don't think you're far off the uh, money on this. Uh, <clears throat> are you able to see my screen? Yeah. We got uh, almost a thousand impressions and we received five clicks to the site. Uh, right now we're paying a cost per click of five, six, eight, four. Uh, this is to be expected. We just launched 240 ads. Um, we've got a lot, you know, before we start worrying about, hey, wow, the, the cost per click is high or even the click through rate at point six five four is too low keep in mind that we have a lot of dialing to do on the ad set so it, this is some initial data um don't worry about the page i mean page likes let's just go to website click obviously once we start running enough data through and our pixel fires off we'll be able to use the lead uh conversion uh, and, and look at that it's, you know break it down by ages so let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick um the, the 25 through 34 age group, we've got a 1.056% CTR with a 324 CPC, three clicks um, we had on that. So uh, let's take a look at the next age group, which was 54, uh, 45 through 54 at 0.541% click through rate. Once again, keep in mind, that's it, it, these numbers are very, very, I mean, they're skewed big time right now because we have such low data, but you can get an idea kind of who's coming where and it looks like we haven't seen you know and this is really alarming right here the second one yeah and you know out of all of them this is the most alarming because this has had far more impressions than these two age groups so outside of the younger age groups th this group which is really what I would want to be targeted more on um, you know I'm thinking more of the 35 through you know 58, you know, uh, would be my guess. But, um, so this will be something that we're going to, have to look at. Um, you know, I think it is, you know, initially looking at it, it's concerning in, in terms of uh, why have they not, you know, why haven't we got one click out of that group, which I would think it appeal. So we, we probably need to work on our, our messaging. Obviously, we're appealing to the younger crowd right now, more so uh, than really any of the others. And these, this is really too early yet to, to judge, but our two best groups is the is really at both ends of the bell on this. this it's going to be the younger and then the older, and, and this occurs. You know, uh, I, I see this all the time for other courses and um, Need your immediate attention. really anything Sorry. that you can think of. Right. We're prepared to fix these issues. Sorry, yeah, that pop up came up. Yeah, go. Um, <clears throat> so we really don't have. Let's see. Let's see where we're getting our ah. This is interesting. We haven't gotten anything off mobile yet, so I mean, it's once again, it's a little early. Oh, we already spent nine dollars on mobile. Got nothing, huh? Instagram. I thought that's surprising. I do too. Um, you know, desktop feed. I can understand in this. Uh, you know, for, for these type of people. You know, people like me that might be on. You know. You know either my laptop or my, my desktop. Um, you know, I'm certainly on my mobile as well. Um, so yeah, that is interesting. Um, now we've obviously had far more impressions run in Instagram than anywhere. And we got the most clicks out of it at the lowest CPC and yeah. at the lowest, con you know, conversion. So I didn't know you were going to do Instagram. So, um, Instagram's just photos, right? No, Instagram will contain our, our image plus our ad text that we use on the, the Facebook side. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we're running. Yeah, we're running. I'm using Instagram right now. And it, it's, you know, Instagram, you know, really in the coaching verticals, I've seen it work very well. Um, it, it, lately, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, one of, it's been, I would say, I know for, I've got a, got a client that's in the, uh, he sells. Let's see, he sells to the older crowd actually, uh, fifty through fifty-eight, and his actually the best uh, streams are coming from Instagram. Yes, Instagram, you post it. You know, it's a post your photo uh, platform, and people can make comments. Uh, you know about what they think of your photo. Um, you know, in, in the other screen, we had um, twenty-five to thirty-four age group. 
with more, and I bet you they're the Instagram users here. These right here, I would, yes, I would probably say this right here came from Instagram, these three clicks, from the younger crowd. That's, a, that's safe to say, and then these two clicks right here are going to be desktop. So there you go. Um, and desktop is going to be more expensive uh, per click, and, and, it, and that's really why I run, I'm running all three of those to, to see which of those channels I'm going to uh, to use with this campaign and all of our other campaigns. Because, you, you know, I found that, I mean, I've got campaigns that are run strictly mobile, then strictly on Instagram, strictly on desktop, and then I use them within the funnel. Uh, and I use them at, at different points and at different touch points because desktop is going to be more expensive. However, you know, it's not to say, especially in the business world or people that are in professional um, careers, they're, they're going to be using, you know, they're going to be using computers at their office unless they're, you know. So how is this, is the, you're, you're another information coaching products, whatever. Um, this is day one. Um, how are we coming out of the gate? We're coming out of the gate slowly. No. Uh, well, let, let's take a look at this. Let me see if I can get any more data on this. Not yet. Let's see. Our CPC. I mean, obviously, we're, we're the CPC is you know way way high. Uh, our click through rates is low. I mean, all these numbers. I think obviously I will be able to take this, reduce it. You know through each iteration, you know, it's, it's going to chop this, like, say, for example, the CBC will chop it half. And then for the clip through rate, we're looking to bump it up, you know, double it. And, you know, by centering, by taking 240 of these, we're trying to, we're just looking for one winner, just one. Um, yeah. And then I break it down by the age groups or, or by interest. I mean, there's, there's multiple audiences, I mean, there's multiple ways. Because we're starting out, we're starting out with our initial audience, which, um, you know, is defined right here. And I think this is a great audience. I mean, I, I, you know, I don't have a problem with it. This is the one that, um, you know, certainly, um, uh, what's his name came up with, and 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 we were able to take and and and, and vamp for, you know, and I, obviously I went in and, and made some changes uh, because the audience was a little big, especially for our budget, uh, so I reduced it down just a touch. But <clears throat> I mean, I think it's a, I think it's a, a good audience. Um, you know, it's going to come down to once we we go into testing this audience versus other audiences, um, that's going to be what's important here. So let's take a look here. Once again, really, really small data here. Uh, you know, once we get above, I mean, once we get above a thousand impressions, I'm okay making some calls and some reads, you know, initial stuff. But just initially here, you know, the click-through rate on this one is lower, uh, you know, the, than, than this campaign. And also looking at the cost per click, it's drastically small. So just by the way an image is, it, 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 it can, it's going to change up the cost. Let's do the headline. See here that the second headline has a triple click-through rate. And, you know, <laughs> CPC that is three times less, three and a half times less. So these things right here, what we're focusing on, especially initially, is click-through rates and cost per clicks. And I'm looking to drag these things down. For example, like this, this has got to go. I'm going to go ahead and make that call now. <clears throat> just because that cost per click is so incredibly high. And click-through rate is, is just terrible. And I understand that we have small sample sizes here, but I think that... So, uh, what sample size do you need to be comfortable with before you don't make that qualification? I mean, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, when you run with small data, you know that you can get skewed results. Um, obviously, if you, you know, the, the, I think the, it's limitless on how much you can collect, so it's a matter of what is your threshold. And, Right now, at this point in time, just making a couple calls, like the one that I just saw there, I mean, that, you know, there were several things that screamed, you know, that I needed to change it. And that was the cost per click, and the click-through rate was so different. Um, you know, even here, uh, I mean, it's still such a small sample size. Um, yeah, so go, going back to the question, what sample, and when you say sample size, I assume you mean impressions, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. How many impressions do you need to say that you've got a meaningful sample to tell a trend? 
Um, to, to spot one or to really, I mean, usually a thousand. I, I really, you know, the more the better, but, you know, to hit a thousand impressions, you know, it's in that, that 72 to 96 window that I explained, you know, that we would look at from launch to first optimization. Um, so here. You want, uh, you want a thousand impressions. If I, if I give you a thousand impressions, then when you analyze uh, these again, you won't be saying the sample size is small. Is that right? At what point I would say, you, well, saying, at what point do you stop saying, oh, the sample size is small, but um, mm, that really you, know, you, you, could, you could say never, but you know, I would say once again, once, once these hit about a thousand, uh, which we're going to have for looking at two more days of running, um, okay. I, you know, and it's in that window I explained, I would say that's where you can, I can make intelligent calls here. And I mean, you know, even right off the bat, th I would probably bet that this is going to be the winning uh, text, ad text right here. And let me just have a look, sorry. Sure. Why do you say that on the basis of click through rate? Uh, the click through rate, cost per click, understanding that the, you know, that this ad text has, you know, you know, almost half as, as, as many impressions as the one, you know, second above it, and then, you know, at least half on the, uh, the first one. So, you know, it, it's, it's it, once again, it's a little early to tell. I would say that probably the first and fourth right now probably won't run very well. Okay. Why don't we do this? Uh, just for today, why don't we just double the daily rate to accelerate the test here to get to get them to a thousand, is that good practice or not? No. Uh, no. When you accelerate your budget, you usually want to do it incrementally. Um, you, you don't want to just go and throw more at, especially at this stage. I mean, at this stage, running at thirty a day, I feel. I mean, you know, you, you've got to think of this as like we're, we're going to dig a big hole, and we've we've already put the shovel in the ground, and we started moving some dirt, but we've got a lot of dirt to move. And okay. we could get more people in there to shovel it, and yeah, we could you know put some more machines. If it was me, I would say, you know, I would not increase. I would if you want to increase it slightly, yes, but I say we stick to the plan and just let it take its course because, okay. you know, okay. I mean, you know, we've got the weekend coming up. We don't know how people react, especially during summer times with kids, with vacations, with a plethora of things that can take their distractions. But what we do know. And what we can see from this is that I would be willing to bet that one of these two headlines right here is going to perform better than these two. How about yeah. yeah. But we don't want to make that call yet. So, I mean, you know, you can look at even, you know, the age groups. And obviously this is going to be important. You know, I've broken it down, you know, accordingly. And, I mean, this is such skewed data right now. I mean, it's it, it really is just because it's so early. But... We can get an idea that, you know, it looks like the Instagram, the young Instagram people clicked more. Potentially. And that may not be, that's, I don't think that's our target audience necessarily. I really don't. Um, I think that the younger age group, I think that this age group, though can be ambitious, um, is, is not likely. I mean, you know, it's a process, man. You've got to fail a million times to learn, right? Yeah, they're not. They're not. They're not going to have the money for it. Right. Exactly. Now, now, now. Now, here's a question. Could they? You know. Could you know? Could some of them have a lot of money? You know, family money. Uh, you know, parents are willing to go spend four thousand dollars, five thousand dollars for a course for them to learn. You know, potentially yes. But I think the likelihood is less than than these age groups up here, forty-seven to fifty-nine. It's probably going to be more of our target audience, and they're going to. And what we have to do is, we have to look at how, especially with the with, with the first. Why, that we, why do you say that? Why do you say that? Is that on the basis of past um, campaigns, coaching, and info products, or is that just intuitive? Mm, it's 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 a combination of past campaigns and reading this right here, though initial. Mm. And you know, once I, again, thought, I could be I wrong. Thought 30, I would have thought thirty. You've got what there, thirty-three to thirty-nine. That's. I would have thought thirties. 
May, well, I would have thought in the 30s is when um, our best market is, but, um, uh, you know. Well, it could be. Now, Now, once again, now, we've got, because we are set our budget at 30 right now. Yeah. We could have, we could, you know, between the past 24 hours or so, we could have had all of our ad budget burned up right here. And, yeah, I mean, this took a chunk. This took $7.41. So this age group, these three age groups right here, took a very large amount of money from our total campaign, so we didn't have as much to spend down here on these, and these, this could be our markets. That's kind of the concern, right? I would say, I would say we cut this group. And yeah, they probably, you know, love the, the catchy headline, oh man, how do you ban this business make money? I wanna know. So it may have appealed to them more of in a, well, I want what happened type sense, and obviously we, we don't have a conversion on them. Um, and, you know, so I would say that at, to this, I mean, we don't cut them out completely now. We don't have to. But with this campaign, I mean, obviously, I mean, every campaign we run, for example, I mean, I could take this exact one and, um, you know, replicate 50 of them and then have each one of them hitting one specific age group with specific headlines, etc. And that's what we would be getting at. I think at this point, though, we, we know that we spent a lot of money right here. Though, though we're getting our best cost per click, but that's because we're getting it from Instagram. And the reason why the, this cost per click up here is this high is because it's coming off a desktop. My, and, my instincts are screaming that Instagram's not the pl right place. I mean, you've got experience marketing this type of thing. I don't, right? But um, <coughs> my instinct tells me Instagram is not the place to find the type of person we're after. Um, and my instincts are telling me uh, less. I have a less strong view, but my instincts do tell me we're looking for people in their thirties. Yeah, the, the, um, in the twenties, the type of people we're looking for are, uh, you know, when they're in the twenties, they are. They take a lot of jobs. They they churn through the jobs, lots of jobs in their twenty. What they're doing is they they're just getting a lot of experience. In their 30s, that experience coalesces around a business idea that they execute. And because they've never run a business, then they're struggling. You know, they're between one and 10 employees under $2 million revenue. They don't know how to go further. They don't know how to delegate. They don't know the 14 entrepreneurial disciplines. So if people are starting, are in their 40s and they're struggling with business, um, you know, it means they've probably started very late and they've probably had 20 years employment in a large organisation. And they're actually not entrepreneurial. Maybe they've left uh, to start up themselves for other reasons. They got retrenched. This is maybe even more the 50s. You know, they got retrenched uh, and they're, they're starting a business because they've got no other option, uh, which, of course, is not the type I'm looking for. I'm looking for somebody who has spent their 20s in lots of little jobs and in their 30s they're executing, but now they don't know. Um, I don't have a hard and fast view about that, but, um, uh, you, you, you know, because you can have some people who are, have that highly sales entrepreneurial instinct that start a bit early in their 20s, maybe 28, but that's a small group. You know, the, the one who's born and bred to be an entrepreneur, you know, that, that type. They're highly salesy and they talk fast, yak, 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 yak. Um, and they've probably done three or four deals by the time they're 28. Um, that is a group of entrepreneurs, but, you know, they're probably not going to um, uh, be taught how to do it since they feel it's in their instinct. And then you've got, the, you've got the people who really just hate the career they're in, they're boxed out, maybe they don't have family obligations so they can take a risk and they – they basically outsource the job that they had. Maybe they got retrenched. So they do what they were doing for 20 years, but now they're doing it under, under their own bat and they think they're an entrepreneur and they're not. Um, they're the two fringes of the group, but I think the vast bulk of starting the business in their, 20, in their 30s based on disparate experiences in their 20s. Yeah, and I don't, my guess is they don't look at Instagram I agree with you. Let's not up it to thirty dollars um, up from thirty dollars a day. Let's just keep it where it, where it is. Let's just get the impressions to a thousand, and then sort of you can what. And the stats will be what the stats are, right? So all these instincts I'm telling you I have 
Um, I'll throw them all out the window, you know, based on the stats that you present. So, you know, I'll just go with the market, obviously. This is really so, interesting. <clears throat> you know, that, that no one clicked on mobile. None. That, 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 that's, I mean, again, small, small, small. Uh, we could have gotten our ad budgets burnt out, you know, at some other point. I don't, I mean, I think that people in their 30s are definitely on Instagram still. I mean, Instagram is dying. Um, but, I mean, I know a lot of people still use it. Um, you know, and, and I, yeah, man, I wish, you know, well, I mean, this is good. I mean, this, this gives us enough data. We now know, for example, on our age groups that, you know, our breakdown, we're probably going to have to eliminate people, you know, Th pro probably this whole age group, to be honest with you. I would say that your market more than likely would be somewhere here in early stages of 40s. Well, because, or, you know, here's a, here's a future test. Drop Instagram. Don't, don't cut out the age groups, the 26 to 32 age group, and see if you get anyone 26 to 32 if you've cut out Instagram. Right? Let's do it right now, then. <clears throat> Cool. Well, if you think, yeah. I'm, um, I'm, you I'm, know, I'll do whatever you say. I'm not being prescriptive. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I, I, no, I agree with you. No, I agree with you 100%. I mean, this is exactly what we do. Uh, uh, let's see. Well, is that espresso a uh, Hootsuite thing? Yep, they bought them out. Is, is, it, um, is it expensive software? Uh, it, it's dependent on the amount of ad budget you spend. So, like, if um, I mean, obviously, I, I have to manage several accounts. So it's uh, I think five hundred. The price now. comes down if you run a number of um, campaigns through it. Oh no no! Uh, it, it, but for every dollar that you spend, it, it, it costs you know incrementally. So if, you, oh. if you're spending fifty thousand on it, it, they want some money. Oh, I see. So the more you put in, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so, okay, we've got this. Now we're going to take out Instagram on this. Um, do you want to... Why can't we just run this, you know, let's go ahead and purify it a little bit, just run mobile only. When you say purify, what do you, you're talking about the copy? Well, let's just, look on, on the channel side, let's, let's, let's say, let's take out Instagram, let's take out desktop. We know desktop's going to work. Yeah. But, but we really, for the lead side, I'm going to be honest with you, we, for, for lead gen, we want the mobile, man. Uh, because I'll give you an example. I've got a client uh, that I took from 18% conversion rate on step one, which was the lead opt-in. I've got them up to, uh, we're, we're holding at 60% right now. 60% um, for what? Lead opt-in. Like people that are clicking on these ads, these tier one campaigns, 60% of them are putting in their information. Um, so those are, I mean, now that's taking us, you know, three or four weeks to dial in, uh, you know, a lot of work, a lot of testing, but we're doing the same thing that we're doing here. And what, what I mean, and I, did, I, I guess Purify kind of, kind of makes it sound weird, but just make this a clean running campaign straight to mobile so we can go ahead and just see, you know, is mobile working or not? Because we're not getting anything off mobile right now. And we can leave all the age groups and we, and we can change it up even. We can even go ahead and reduce people off the top end of the funnel. We can go ahead and make these people on the bottom of the funnel uh, go ahead and get them tighter. So we, we know that, let's see. Well, shouldn't we just make one change at a time? Well, how do you do it? How do you normally do this? You you, you run three or four, you know, tell me how you do oh, it. Oh yeah, I mean, you could, you could even do it where you're running it to specific ones. Now, on the original one that we have, I'm running it to all three channels because I'm, I'm wanting to see all which ones are working. We obviously know that mobile has not produced anything, and that's been kind of, that's, that is a little concerning. But based off what you just said, going from, I mean, I, I, I want mobile, uh, certainly more than anything. Uh, Instagram, I think it works. Uh, it has its place, um, and, and it depends. Um, you know, it depends on the quality uh, of the lead, too. So that can, that can skew things. And so I would say here, let's let's get rid of those upper age groups and let's focus more on the smaller, you know, the younger age groups. We could run it, for example, 28 to 31, 32 to 35, 36 to 39, uh, 40 to 43, and maybe cap it at 43, or go from 
44 to 47, cap it at 47. And that way we get rid of the, the potential age groups that were just clicking and just, you know, oh, what, what, you know, instead of being serious and wanting to, to really, you know, you know, to, to get the book to pay or, you know, to give us their information. Um, I mean, obviously, uh, yeah, I don't think people in the upper fit or in their fifties are going to be your type. Unless no, I, I don't, the fifties is too late, you know. Cool. So let's go we're ahead. That's early retirement stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Let's. I mean, how about twenty nine through thirty two. Twenty eight. I'm not a big fan of twenty eight. I mean, I still think twenty nine is kind of young for this. I would say just just mark out twenties. Just just go thirties. Let's do it. Yeah. So 48 is going to be the top of our, of our 48, 49, 49 maybe? Just yeah, maybe 49. That gives us a pretty tight audience. This, this we, I think this is going to be a little too tight. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I added in some income qualifiers too. So what I'll do on this one, let's get rid of them. $160,000. So if we get anything is kicked in yet, nope. Just go up to the uh, interests, uh, down to the interests, down. See those ones there, um, uh, Tony Robbins, Dark Honey, let me just have a look. Um, can you, oh, you've got uh, Gary Vaynerchuk. So there, there are another couple in there, but I don't know if it makes any difference uh, to the numbers. Can we see if we can add them in? Mm. Um, one is uh, Michael Hyatt, H-Y-A-T-T. H-Y-A-T. Double T, you've got Michael, E-A, around the wrong way. Yep. Oh, he's there, right. So I don't know if that makes a difference. Uh, another one would be... Um, uh, Check this out, right? Hank, Can you read this? Hank Portfield. Can you read this? Uh, if Frank Kern, definitely put Frank Kern in. Right, put Marie Forleo in. Uh, is Amy Porterfield there? Yes, she is. Ty Lopez, I use him in a lot of audiences. Oh, man, look, this guy's everywhere at the moment. Hmm. What a, um, yeah, okay, but... Um, Bob Proctor, let's see. Uh, and you said someone to begin with, uh, who was that again, before Frank Kern? Um, no, I didn't. Uh, there is one other guy. Hold on. H have we got um, Michael Gerber in there? The e myth. I've got the e myth and the e myth revisited. See what I've done is I've said, yeah, and that's fine. That's fine. Let, hold on. There's just one other name I want to uh, put to you. Just let me go and look it up. Steve doesn't use his name. He's doing what I'm doing. He's he's got uh, something profits or something. Just hold on, let me, it was in that uh, thing that George did. <clears throat> the reason I'm, I want to pick him out is his, um, there it is. Uh, his um, content is similar. So uh, these, there are a lot of people who sort of talk about, you know, digital marketing. I'm going to show you digital marketing, but... Digital marketing is great, but it's not all of business, and there's a lot more to business than just uh, digital marketing. So this guy, and he was listed number two, I think.
So we got height. We've got have we got Mike Dillard in there? Yes. Frank Kern we've just put. Uh, okay, it's strategic profits. Uh, I'm just trying to find the name of the guy. The, the, the site's strategic profits. The guy's name is Rich, last name S C H E F R E N. Sheffron. Rich Sheffron. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. S C H E F R A N. F R E N. See there? R I C H S C H E F R E M. Yes. First name Rich R I C H. Don't have anything. No, and or the other, um, it might be under the name of the website, which is strategicprofits.com. He's all over Facebook. If he's not there, there's one more I've got, and that's it. Adam. He's not there? No, it's you. Yeah, that's him. But he's not on Facebook, right? You know. <laughs> His website. <laughs> His website is served up the XML. <laughs> well, maybe don't want you. Uh, bless you. Yeah. Um, okay, so Chris this, Ducker. Say it again. Chris Ducker. Um, Chris Tucker. D U C K E R. Yeah, he's got, what, 1,200 people, it's not much. That's all I've got. I mean, once again, you know, we've got to get to so many people. Like, I can't even pop your custom audiences yet. And I, I, I set up the pixels yesterday to start uh, pulling on it, but it's still, you know, we have to get over 100 on the, on the, on the count. So we're, we're on the way, we, you know. But we, we need to decrease what, what our costs. What does over 100 mean? you got to have over 100 visitors to the website for the pixel to fire, for it to start recording and start giving us back information. And how, have we got, how many have we got? Five? Mm -hmm. Well, yesterday. Or in 24 hours. All right, I'm going to reduce. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this at 15. I'm going to uh, run the other one at 15. So we're running at a total of 30. <coughs> I wish I would change the name of that campaign. <laughs> but yeah, this is what we want to do. This is this is basically how we're iterating through. And you know, at five dollars a clip, I mean, we have we, I can't even tell you what the relevant score or anything. You know, I mean, that's what's going to tell me how well this campaign performs and how you know what we're going to pay for it. Yeah. So, um, I can confirm. I can confirm. No one's. No one has filled in that form. No. The ebook. I, I can see no one's downloaded an ebook. I can see that. Yeah. No. Uh, no so I mean, it, it should definitely. I mean, as long as we got the pixel installed properly, it's going to fire. And this is when I'll start being able to see it. This this campaign right here. I mean, I've made a couple of adjustments. 
Um, we'll, we'll let it continue to run as is at 15 a day. So we'll split it between these two campaigns. That'll give us a little bit more of an idea. Um, I'm gonna have to rename that to B2. So that's kind of rude. Uh, so you've reduced the daily budget. Just, just let me get inside your head. What, why did you reduce it from 30 to 15? So I could run both of these and stay within 30 days, 30 dollars a day. I don't want to run. Yeah, I don't want to run. I don't want. See, I don't want to burn through all of our money right now because, you know, I mean, could could we burn through some money making some tests? Yes, um, but we've started out and we're doing it. You know. It, we're not doing it as fast as we could. Certainly, we can we can turn things up, but we're just looking for what's work, what works, you know. And I think that what we need to do next. Yeah. And what I'll, what I'll, let me go ahead and do this. is to take this same campaign and let me. Uh, I'm going to take it. I'm gonna just going to revise the images out. Okay. But I'm gonna take and your image off. I'm going to put in the images that you sent me. I cropped just the other day. Right. I'd see if that makes a difference. Get get rid of my ugly face and put in some of those professional things. Yeah. yeah. So so and, and this is how you know, and this this is this is our testing. This and I want to use the same exact audience that we ran on last time. Uh tell me I didn't do it on my laptop. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um I'll have to do that. I've got it on my laptop, so I'll have to come back in on this. this let me. I'm gonna leave this. I mean, I, I, I think for, for for the 30 age group, Instagram is still somewhat. You know, okay, I mean, you're gonna check it out every now and then. I would, I do. Um, so I wouldn't say let's take it off just yet. Um, let's leave it on this campaign. Let me go ahead and receive that. I know. I know. Well, let me just save it out. And what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll add in those images. That way we can go ahead and get another run. And really, I would like to see, let's see, we saw that this headline was not performing on the last one. So let me go ahead. I'm going to take this. I'm going to get rid. And I'm going to go ahead and have it down to this. Uh, I think that this was, let me, well, I'll go back and look. But I'm going to, I'm going to take out one of these ad techs. We can run all, hopefully, you know, we'll probably run six to eight images on the next one with this. So oh, I'll, see, is this how it works? So those, uh, you've got ad text one, two, three, four, five. These these get spliced in in different ads, do they? Yes, that's what's making up the 240 total. So what happens what's, is... What's the, character, what's the character limit on that field? Two... Uh, ad text? I mean, you can go yeah. crazy with it. I, was, uh, I mean, you can put a pretty good novel on there if you want to. People do all the time. And I mean... You know, long text That's versus short text. Sorry, I didn't hear you. What's the limit? I mean, probably, let's see, I think it's 2,500 word count, to be exact, 2,700, something like that. Oh, you can write a message, can you? Yeah, oh man, you can put a novel. Yeah. And, and I'll be honest with you, this and this this is a good, see, now here's how, you know, and, and, and see, I would actually rather do that here. Because we have every one of these around the same thing. You know, abandoning business, tripling sales, or something like abandoning business. Let's 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 not talk about that. Let's on let's let's well let's keep that or keep like yeah. two of them, and then let's let's take like some long text on you. Like, hi, you know, I've done this, this, this. Here's how I can help you check out. You know, go ahead and get my free ebook and begin your journey. Best of luck. Mm -hmm. And then okay. we use those other images. Let me, let me write you something a bit longer that'll be about me. That's the introduction. Maybe they'll be uh, curious enough to read the e-book. Um, and do you want one more? Just write uh, one for now. Just, uh, just give me one for now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reduce these down. I'm going to look at I'm going to wait until you give that to me. And I'm going to reduce these down to probably, I'm going to look for the best two performing ones that we picked out earlier. Remember? Yeah. I don't remember which ones they are, so I'll have to go back and look. But okay. But what I'll do is, is when I reduce out two of these, I'll add in one of your uh, long copy bios, and we're going to go ahead and test that with the new images and see how that works. And of course, we'll want to take that and cross test it with your image, because uh, I think I think the image of you and a good bio, I think that actually will outperform the ad text we have here. Okay. And that's because let me, let, me, let, let me write up something long, but you know, not too long, yeah, and like maybe like a like a 
maybe a thousand characters, seven hundred characters. I mean, don't go crazy. You know, keep okay. working. So how many? Seven hundred characters. Seven hundred. I mean, five hundred to seven hundred characters, uh, or five hundred uh, to seven hundred word count, it is pretty good. It's pretty solid for someone to read that. You don't want to. You don't want to spill your beans too much in the beginning. <laughs> you just want to hook them. You know, it's, it's like seeing a pretty girl at the bar. You just she wants to just flash you that smile, get you to come over and start buying that drink. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, so, yeah. Okay. So the same thing here is, you know, uh, I think that we have to flash her smile, um, and we can do that. And you can do it in, in a variety of ways. Don't think that you have to write this huge long thing to do it. But we can take this huge long thing, and then I can take it, chop it up into multiple things. And we see how that works, and and that's how we go. I mean, we're just we're like making toss salad here. I mean, we're just chopping yeah, shit I'm, and throwing stuff in, right? Let me let me write you five to seven hundred words and um, just see what you want to do with it, okay? That's and after that, I'll do that now, as soon as I get off the phone with you, so we can substitute something in. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fine. And oh. yes, absolutely. I mean, and, and now here's the thing: is okay. We can call this. We, you know, I'm not impressed by the first campaign. I'm, I'm really not. I mean, it, it, it's not that I'm not. Uh, it's not that I couldn't take that and dial it in, get it down to like maybe a buck eighty, buck fifty CPC, with maybe a one point one four percent CTR or some shit like that. But what I'm concerned about is going is is how is how's our message being received? And 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 obviously so far we've only had five clicks. I know that's a small sample size. However, we've had no conversions, uh, and and certainly we we can't be even thinking of it yet. But we you know, we want something, you know, we want to see something coming out because when you get the right message, when you get the right campaign, it clicks and it works and you, and, and, and the campaign can start off from the very beginning converting well. Now, however, it doesn't mean that, you know, and it's certainly not at this stage can we make that decision. That's a 72 to 96 window running at roughly 30 a day. We would be at a 240 ad sets. That we can make that decision about that point in time. Um, so we're, we spent about $100, $120 to find out what works, what's not, and from that we're spinning, we're spinning, we're spinning, we're spinning. And we're redoing the audiences, redoing the age groups, we're dialing in. I mean, we'll get these campaigns down to where I'm going to be running it from 31 to 34, and this is it. And this is the one. We know this one converts X rate, this thing just runs. And then we take it out and we do it for, and we search for other age groups, and we keep doing that. We have to keep tailoring our message. We have to keep solving the pain points that someone at 33 might have differently than someone my age at 37 mm-hmm. or even you know in their 40s 50s whatever so i think that people have to look at you more as as a mentor and they have to want to be able to come to you and say hey look i know that you've been in the bushfire four, so you're not going to freak out you know where i may freak out like oh my god what do i do here i'm stressed out i'm putting out all these fires all day what do i do and <clears throat> that's where they come to you and, and they're able to you know get that reassurance that hey look We've all been there. Here's what you do. Here's the steps you take. And I mean, everything in life, everything out there, that, that's how it is. I mean, you can either figure it out yourself or you hire someone to do it. So, um, you know, I think that we have to find the people that are going to resonate with the message. And I think that we, we really need to introduce, we need to, on the, okay. Here, I would say that the way to really attract people is let's talk money. Money always works. I mean, let's talk about how much more money we're going to make. Because, I mean, everybody wants to be richer, better looking, and younger. So, we need to say we, we've got an easy way. I mean, not easy, but we've got a, let's make it easy for you to make more money. Let's, let's by using my, my system, by using my process, you're going to make more money because you're going to become more efficient. You're going to know how to make the right decisions when they come, just like if you're playing a hand of poker. You know, you, you, you sit and, you know, uh, you know, you're late in the tournament, the blinds are up, you know, you're, you're 5X on, you know, on the big blind, uh, you know, you're, you're sitting on the button, you know, you got to shove all in, you know, any two cards, basically, you're, you know, you're like a 90, 95, well, we don't have to shove rate, five big blinds. Uh, so anyhow, it, it, you, you, you have to think in terms of like, like, how do I play poker properly? How do I play poker business properly? And how do I scale my business? Now, a lot of what you're doing is specifically talking to people that are uh, that, that are in a that are in a very specific spot. They're in a spot of, you know, I'm making X amount of money. How do I make, you know, how do I go from making two hundred thousand a year 
to making 1.5 million, to 5 million, to 10 million? What's the process? What's it going to look like? What do I have to do? You know, what, what, what do I need to know to do? And you need to be able, I think we need to start focusing in on how we're going to solve that person's pain points. We need to speak directly to them, to the heart. And I'm telling you, that's going to be, I mean, they're a smaller percentage, but we're going to, that's going to really get rid of the chafe and of these people that are just clickbaiting because they see a really cool headline like, oh my God, he banned his business and made more money. What? I mean, it's catchy. Yes. It, it, it's an attention grabber. We want that. But at the same time, I think that we can go for purity and we can speak from the heart. We can go for things like, hey, uh, you know, I made X in, in, in annual sales and I took it to this by using this system. Let me show you how. Stuff like that. I, I'm going to show you how. You, you, you know where you're at. You want to make more money. You know you have a business that can be scaled. Let me show you how. And I mean, even on the headline, I think we need to go for something more catchier than this. And I think this, I think that this headline, I think the link description in the headlines need to be changed, to be honest. I mean, what, what, what is it? Uh, um, what does it say? The link description is saying trustworthy advice for growing and selling seven figure businesses. We need to be talking, we need to be talking. Yeah, about that's it. the old copy. That's the old website, right? That, that's that's not what it is. I mean, what it is now is, um, you know, the lead-in is um, financial independence and personal freedom is best achieved by growing your business from uh, from um, uh, from small to eight figures. I'll show you how. You can see, I'm still trying to memorise it. We've only just con conceived it. Financial independence and personal freedom is best achieved by growing your business from small to eight figures, I'll show you how. That, that, that's sort of the, the lead-in that we're using. And the purity, going back to the purity angle, is, is you know, uh, here, you know, I'm Canel talking, I've done this, I've done that, da, 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 I've, I've built businesses from scratch and I've sold them to public companies. Uh, yes, I'm financially independent, no question about it, and I've done it three times over. Um, that none of this is the point. The point is, you've got lots of uh, offers out there to make you rich, but what I'm not uh, selling you is a get-rich-quick scheme. What I'm trying to show you is a methodical step-by-step uh, -step process to go from your small business to at least $10 million in revenue through a, a six-phase uh, process, which I call... You know, skirmishes and strife, uh, the master plan challenge, the um, uh, you know the freedom mission, da 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 da. You know, I outline all six. And I say it's it's a long hard effort, but work with me and I will get you to at least ten million. This is sort of like the hard. This is the, you know, and you can I can do it more elegantly and more uh, better than I'm just doing off the top of my head. But that's the purity method because what you're doing is you're getting rid of the guys in their 20s who are just, um, uh, you know, they're all about inspiration and I can do anything. And you're getting rid of the guys in the 50s who they're past it, right? Um, but we're saying here are the tools to rep that where you can replicate your business and scale. Um, because at, at its core, at its core what I'm offering is... Proven steps, a formula, a list of processes and tasks that, and, and a change of mindset that they need to undergo to scale. We need and they don't have it now, and I want to give it to them. That's it in a nutshell. We need to, yeah, we need to, I think we need to almost cut our campaigns and, and refocus our, our, our language on that specifically. I think we have that's, the, that's the purity thing. So, you know, uh, I, I, I very, very much, I don't want to become, you know, like a, I don't want to be seen like oh, a rah-rah guy. You know, you know what a rah-rah guy is. It's this guy 
it, it's that, that stereotype of an entrepreneur, which I do not fit, which is fast talking, fast selling, uh, never been to college, you know, uh, cut corners, um, you know, quick, uh, get rich, quick scheme. This is not what I'm trying to get mm -hmm. across. I, I'm trying to get across more uh, the, the tone of a, the tone of a, um, a McKinsey management consultant, but for a business their size at a price they can afford, um, uh, you know, a professional who is actually doing and been through this stuff himself, you know. <coughs> yes. But one of the better hooks. Something uh, like this. I mean, the, let me let me yeah. pitch you something real quick. You know what you're saying is is basically you're looking to be the one you're, you're looking to be the mentor you're looking to be the one that you can lean on and count on to get you through this process to scale like I'm going to show you what to do you're the general you're leading the troops into battle right like if you will listen to me I'm not going to always say that you're going to win and, and, and you know be you know, victorious but you have to fight this battle and because you have to fight it I'm choosing you to go in there and fight it and here's how you're going to do it and you're going to yes. do it to the best of abilities if you die you go down so be it so yes. when I'm and this is just something conceptual off the top of my head, but and I don't know why Donald Trump came to mind, but I think this is perfect. Having something, you know, where we can use and talk, you know, because you're talking about battles, skirmishes. We need to use something like this. I think that we could, could if we had some way to, to take you and, 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 and do a GIF, you know, where you're in the general outfit, kind of like this, you know, where we can, I don't know, I, I think it could work. I, you know, to show that, you know, the warrior, we need to be, you're talking about battles and, and how we're going to to fight them and win? Because I mean, this is about fighting and winning. Okay, this is about this. This is like you're, you're looking for a teammate. Which are, this is a teammate. You need you need a teammate to to make it through this battle. If you are at the, this point in your business where you're making say a million dollars uh, AR and you're ready to go to ten, how do you do it? How do you do everything front to back from handling the internal processes, employees, onboarding, training. Uh, Procedures, uh, how do you do quality control, counting, uh, you name it. So, I think we need to we need to focus more on. We've got to focus more on the pain point. I think that yes, it's intriguing to see. Oh, yeah, man's business. What happened? Huh? You know, okay. But we need to be. But what we're doing is, is we're trying to you know we're trying to get people to sign up for the ebook, and we need to we need to focus our message around that ebook and how it's going to deliver value to them. Because I'm telling you right now. If we if we give them value that's different than what they were expecting, it, it can cause trouble. You know, it'll it'll result in low sales conversion ratios, and we've got to hit you know three percent um, to be successful here. So, I would say if we could take something where we can focus some sort of, we've got to. I want to focus an image more on that battle. I mean, this is what this is. This is war. I mean. We've got to have something. Whether we're including you in the image. I think including you on the image, I don't know on the, excuse me, I don't know if on the cold lead side is going to work as well as it would maybe in retargeting. Retargeting especially is going to work well, especially when we use your bio and say, hi, I've been there. I know where you're at and I'm going to show you how to get out of it. It's a process. You're in the trenches. You're going to have to be there for a minute. But if you follow these steps, you're going to get out. And people love that. I mean, it's the truth. Whether It can be anything in your life. You just want to know if when you get into something and you get into the sock that, hey, it's going to be cool. We're going to get to the other side. Just keep pushing forward. So you need to, we need to concentrate on that motivational side, the, the motivation to, to carry on. You know, I mean, and I think that if we focus in, in, in on those pain points of people that are, you know, I, I, you know I'm in my... I'm 37. I've got two kids. Uh, five and three. I've got to take care of them. You know, I've got bills. Uh, I'll bring it. Even bring the personal stuff in. Yeah. You and, know, and, am, am I? You know, rate, how do you rate yourself as a provider? How is your business going in terms of be in, in empowering you to be a provider? Is your business <clears throat> assisting you be the provider you want to be? Mm, I would. I don't know if I would focus on that as much because if we're if we're focusing on, I mean, obviously people that are having problems with their business or uh, you know, the, there are problems in their life in their business um, probably are not at a good point to uh, to scale or have the money to scale. I would. 
I was, I mean, we can focus on those things without saying it. It's kind of like, um, let me give you an example. Uh, it's kind of like when I, uh, when I got out of the Marines and I started selling life insurance. That was my first job. Make, make 500 bucks a week. Um, you know, they, they would train you, hey, you know, here's the reality of it. You know, people, you know, men that have families and kids that don't buy life insurance are just like the drunks who run out on their wives. And it's like, oh, my God. And I remember I told my mother that. And she's like, don't ever say that to anybody. I was like, no, you know, of course I wouldn't. But I was like, that's what they were. That's how they train you. You know, look at it this way. Same thing applies here. And, you know, I think that we can use their pain points like, yeah, okay, maybe I am stuck in a rut. Maybe I want to spend more time. Like, do you want to spend more quality time with your children this summer? Hell yes. Let me show you the steps it's going to take to get your business to scale and help you make more money so you can pay for the college, pay for the cars, and or if you got a daughter, pay for all of her shoes, earrings, and clothes and everything. You know, it, but let me show you how to do that. But let me also show you how... I can get you to where you can. You don't have to be there all the time to do that, and you can take them yourself to do it. So you have more gratification. That's what I got out of my personal life, and I want to share that with you. I think you can even do. You know, I think that we should even look at doing some 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 quick video clips of you sitting right where you're at right now, and you come on and you do your little sales pitch, do a little thirty second elevator pitch. Say, hey, I've been there. There was a time where I, I couldn't even afford to put bologna on the table for my children. Um, I was scrounging to change out of the couch in order to get some milk. And, you know, uh, my wife was not very happy with, uh, with me at that point. But I stayed focused and built my business. And here's what I went through. You may be going through the same thing. If you are, hey, look, you're not alone. There's, there's others of us. Come join our community. Right now you can get it for, you know, $1 for, you know, for your trial. Try us out. We look forward to seeing you. That was something like that. Do your pitch where um, you can excite someone. You, you relate to them. Say, look, I know where you've been, but here's where we can go. You have to fail to succeed. Once you get through that failure, you can then succeed because you, you know what to do and what not to do more than likely when you get in those spots rather than, or you'll be able to make better choices that lead to, you know, better probable outcomes. I guess that's a good way to say it. Not always, but if you do it over and over again, yes, you can be successful just like me. <coughs> I've got it. Let me let me do some writing for you. Just uh, just for these ad, uh, what do you call them? Ad texts. Yeah. And we need to focus on the. I mean, I can help you know wordsmith off of what you give me for the headlines. I'll, I'll think of what to put there. Um, but once again, let's let's focus the message on what the ebook is going to deliver them and use. You know, talk about, hey, I know where you've been. I know it sucks, but we can get through it. Here's how you're going to do it. And we're going to, I'm going to walk you through it every week. Come join our group. We've got other people just like you that experience the same thing. Share. You know, that's what, and, and, and that's going to be very powerful, I, I would say. Um, and, and getting people, and you know, what I love about what you've done already is that you went ahead and got, you know, that, that low, sub, you know, entry subscription. You know, you just want someone to put up anything. A dollar, it doesn't matter. If you put up a dollar, you're willing to put up more. I guarantee it. And that's going to lead to, especially when we start filling the sales pipeline, this is going to lead to more conversions, you know, uh, th than, than what we would have had. And we'll be able to focus on those people that have subscribed to that, you know, get that free trial. We're going to retarget the crap out of them. If they go away and don't, you know, buy the full thing, I'm going to come back. And that's where we can use things like, hey, where'd you go? Look, our community is doing this, this. Check out our webinar from our last, uh, you know, thing for free on me. Look forward to having you come back. And that's how we're going to be able, I mean, circle, circle, circle people. It's like, uh, it's like you go to a car lot, you get hassled real quick. People that are, it's kind of like manipulative people. What do they do? They, they swarm you. They, they, they get all over you. And I'm saying that car salespeople are, are, are manipulative to people, but I'm saying as a tactic, people will bombard you and try to, you know, they won't give you a chance to really think it through because they're going to always just keep you trying to guess, you know, to A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. And, and there's no really right answer because what they're trying to do is is just get you to engage with them. We're doing the same thing here in the sense that we're just trying to engage with people. And we don't really want to give them the option to be like, no, no, no. We want them to say, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, do, you, uh, do, you, do you feel like you could use more time at home? Yes. Do you feel like, I mean, it's kind of like a mind reader. I mean, what are they doing? I mean, they're, uh, they're just get, guessing at probabilities. I mean, 
You know, I'd look at you, uh, it looks like you wear glasses. And I'd, oh, yeah. Oh, man. So you know something, right? You, you might, you might, you've had eyesight trouble since, you know, you know, this point in time. And they're, and they're taking probable guesses. And same thing with us. We just want to be able to take someone. We don't want to let them get the time to get off the hook, so to speak. We want to reel them in. And we want to be able to do it where we have a catch rate, you know, that's, that's going to feed this whole funnel. And if we really focus on, you know, we've got to think of creatively on how to, pin, to, to pinpoint those pain points. Because I think what we have right here is just, it is very broad. It's very catchy. It's, it, it is intriguing, yes. But how can we take this intriguing aspect and tie it into more? And I would say that if we used maybe in the headline, how I, you know, I abandoned my business and grew it. Learn it, you know, something like that. And then use the ad text above it to, you know, introduce yourself. Talk about, hey, I've been there, I failed, but here's what I have learned. And from my experience, I can show you how to do the same thing. Check out the course. Check out my ebook. It's free. Look forward to having you join our community. Whatever. Right? Sounds good. Let me uh, let me have a go at writing it because, of course, the text you've got in there, um, you've, you've used from old text before the ebook was even written and you, you've spliced mm -hmm. it in. So let yeah. me have a go to try and um, nail what you're saying now. And if I miss the boat, if, I, if I, my focus is a bit skew if or I, I'm still too diluted, you'll tell me straight away you've got that skill. I can tell that right, right now you've got that skill. So, so let me have a go to give, give you something and then we'll, we'll see, uh, see what you think, okay? okay? I'm going to start writing it now as soon as we finish. Right, Bob. Um, you know, so you can do something with it. Yeah, I'll be uh, on the road this afternoon, but I'm going to have my laptop and I've got my hotspot in my truck. So I'll send it to you and you have a look at it uh, when you get it and, you, you know, if you think it's appropriate, splice it in and... We'll see well, what we get by doing that. I think that, you know, I mean, we've, I mean, obviously, I mean, yes, the, the way this works is by iterating, looking at different combinations, test, try, you know, fail, and, and move on and learn from it. And I would say that, you know, the first one, I'm, you know, the, the metrics are not that impressive, still too early, but very high calls, very low click through opinion, in my opinion. So, so what, what, just, just let me know, just tell me now, what sort of figures are you looking for? What? What is um, what is an acceptable click through rate for you? Anything north one percent. And what's the acceptable cost per click? Hmm. That. that, that. Come on, do your best. You can do it. Well, it, well, it, that's situational dependent. You see, um, when we start talking about what's our best cost per click, it doesn't really matter to me on the cost generalize. per click. I want you to generalize. Generalize. <sighs> I mean, for, for Facebook, I wouldn't want to pay less than a dollar and a half. I mean, I'm wanting to get a CPA for us of like two, three dollars a lead. And that's what we, you know, and then obviously I think we can drop it down. You know, it depends. It depends on how large our market is. I mean, there's, there's a lot of variables here. But with it coming out, this being this high, it, I don't like it this high right now because I'm not able to get, you know, I'm not, I'm not getting as much data. I got five clicks, you know, I, I needed 50, right? So I'm trying to get my click rate up and we didn't have any conversions on this, um, which, you know, that doesn't what necessarily mean. system, what, what's a conversion? And this one, and we're looking at lead, uh, I'm, 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 I'm following this one on the lead conversions. What would be it? But what does that mean? That means this means uh, that if someone took and put their name and email in the opt-in form for the ebook, yeah. Right. And what I do is I then I'll come back in and layer that pixel on in a little bit. But what I'll do is I'll actually uh, assign a dollar value to that lead, and you know basically we have to break down you know what our what our total co course cost is. I mean I think that for every lead, I mean if we're selling, say we're we're converting, let's just go with two percent. Okay, make it really super simple, stupid. We're converting at two percent on our sales conversion, and uh, that's that's from all the leads that we're bringing in. And let's say we're paying, uh, say four dollars a lead. Okay, let me, let me write this down so I don't get lost. Okay, say we're paying. Uh, we got a, a CPA on the lead side of four bucks, and we got a sales 
conversion of, let's just go two. Actually, let's just go one and a half percent. I'll do the math. Uh, let's see, you know, for every 100, that's 400. Basically, you're looking at a CAC, customer acquisition cost of about $400, which for us, we're selling a course that is 2,000 bucks, and we are generating a what, uh, five to one ROI. I like the math on that. For every 400 bucks you spend, you make 2,000 bucks. Take that shit all day long. And that's what I see on a lot of my campaigns that I run. It's about a five, five one dollar for a while. All right, so we're off to a pretty bad start is what you're saying. You're no, 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 no. Oh, no, don't, don't think we've got off to a bad start. I just don't see, I mean, what, I, I see this being, I don't see this campaign that coming out being, you know, like, wow, we hit a winner. I didn't expect it to be. I just wanted it to give me some data. I just wanted to tell me something. So it's done exactly what we wanted it to do. It gave us some data. Okay. We didn't get the answers. Now, it, it's, it's not a matter of the outcomes in life. It's a matter of, of, of looking at what is it going to tell me and how can I use this to make it better. This campaign here tell, told us so much information that you know the 50 40 50 dollars that you may have spent on it so far is worth the information it's told us so far so we know that i think that we should take and we should tailor our message a little bit better we know that we need to break down those age groups like we've already done from the 30 to 49 and yeah. we need to you know look at how that's performing and i still say run it on instagram i, I, I don't discount that i mean well, I'll just follow whatever you say no problem I mean, here's the thing, like, let's say, let's say, I mean, I've got a campaign right now that runs and I was able to take him, he was, he was like paying like two and a quarter CPA on the lead. I was able to drop it down to a dollar eighty because I was able to drop in, uh, you know, Instagram and we nailed it for that audience and it, it you know, it, it still runs. I mean, it's been great. I've been very fortunate, but the same thing will apply here. We're going to find what runs and we're going to hit it and then we're going to just incrementally notch it up every time because if you really scale your budget too quickly, you can take it and it can crash in a heartbeat. Um, so I'll take it and I'll take and keep bumping these up. Um, you know, once I find a winner. Right now, I'm going to split them out because I really don't want to go over $30 a day right now. I, I know that we want to fast track it and we can by bringing on all these ideas, new images, new ideas, new ways to say the message. I think that using your image uh, and, and I would even do an image, you know, of you, of you sitting here like, like you are right now, you know, just, you know, smiling, you know, you know, in front of, I think, I mean, I think that kind of thing, we need to test it. You know, when you run images on campaigns, really the minimum threshold is like 30 images. I mean, it's a lot because this is an image based thing and that's yeah. what's going to grab someone's attention first. So, you know, you can use things. I mean, and there's another trick. People love it. Like when, if you use it, like, you know, pictures of you and your family, you know, you know, like, Hey, you know, like we're out doing something fun, you know. People, you know, respond to that. Uh, they really do, um, especially retargeting, because uh, they see the human side of you. Like, oh wow, you know, he's, you know, he's enjoying a good life. His family looks happy. That's what I want, right? Um, so, you know, you can. You, there's so many things that we can use here, and we're going to get into them. I mean, you know, we've only just, just, we just cracked the ice yesterday. Um, but, but I think that you can take the ideas that I've, I've come up here and give me some information that I can take and I can, you know, take and spin out in these campaigns. And once again, we're looking for that winner. Um, and I think that using what we've talked about, I think we can find that winner. And I think that these numbers right here are, are, are you know, doable. I think we can get a better CPA lead, you know, obviously than this. Um, you know, we, we're, we might struggle, especially initially. We might be, you know, for example, hang on, let me show you. My can opinion. You, can you Scott those um, numbers to me? Yeah, sure. Uh, I think initially, I mean, really truthfully, running on Facebook, you, you know, you're gonna, you're, you're looking to break even with with Facebook ads. Where you make your money is on the back end. You're making it with your your follow-ups, your retargeting, your emails, your lead nurturing, your your trust building. And right now, we're just trying to even step into building that first list for you to nurture. Yes, yeah, I understand. Yeah. So let's say, you know, let's let's go with let's let's keep a you know a high cost, you know, let's, let's actually let me move this up to. Five dollars. Uh, what do we get? What's our CAC here? Let's see. Five. Hang on. I have to do some calculator work because I am 
been worn out by his kids this week. I, I found out how little energy I have these days. <laughs> <laughs> you sat there, my wife and I talking. Yeah, I'm tired. And, and so I'm, I'm going to ask, um, are you a Trump guy? Uh, you know, I'm not really either. Uh, You're going to sit on the fence. No, I, 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 I think more in terms of... I don't of, care either way. I, honestly, I don't I, care either No, way. I, I think in terms more of... Um, it really doesn't matter to me uh, what I think and what's going to happen is going to happen and it's outside of my hands, outside of your hands, and you just need to learn how to go with the flight. And uh, that's just my time in the military. Like, you have a commander, you can't... I mean, they tell you to do something, roger that, you're going to do it. It's, you don't have a choice. And, like, I'll, I'll give you an example. My mother came... When I was at Balboa Hospital, she flew out and like she got so mad with them, you know, like because you know they weren't doing her way, you know. I said, "Mother, you know, this, this is the way the military is. It doesn't work the way you want it. It works the way they want it." And you just have to. She finally was like, "Oh, okay," you know, and finally calmed down and fun, you know. But she hated it, you know. She couldn't stand it because you know in her world, in most people's worlds, you know, you, you pretty much control your surroundings to a point. Yeah, right. Uh, at least you think you do. Um, so. It's a matter of uh, understanding, you know, um, you know, it's a matter, yes, yeah, simple that. You just need to know, hey, it's, this is going to, this is going to work. You're not very safe with me. That's okay. No, not to worry. <laughs> no, 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 I, no, I, I'm just, but, but I guess the point I'm trying to make is, is that we need to take people, we need to work them through the same thing. We need to get them to know you. And the yeah, only way that we're going to be able to do that is initially by targeting something that they're having a problem with right now, today. They're thinking about it. It's on their mind. When they're on Facebook, they're not on Facebook with intent to buy. They're on Facebook with intent to learn something, see what's in the news feed. Oh, look at this cool you know, thing that I've liked, this page that's giving me a social feed, and then we drop in our ad on them. And, and it's when it's relatable, when it's targetable, and they have that problem, they're going to come to us, and that's when we're able to then work them through. The emails, retargeting, complete the sales. We, we take them... From never heard of you, never use anything, to providing their information, which is a big first step. Second step being, you know, to purchase something, use a credit card. Third step is to go all the way. So, or to continue. So, I mean, we have to focus on those people. We're, we're you know, and we're going to get into points, for example, as we grow. We're going to start to look at different aspects of the funnel. We're going to say, hey, okay, step one, we got solved. We're, we're, we're running at 40% converts, you know, lead opt-in conversions. Solid with that. Uh, anything above it is candy. Um, and it, well, it depends on the CPC or the cost and everything, well, everything. Uh, so, but we, we'll get to the point where we're saying, okay, you know, this, this $1, you know, trial is not, doesn't work as good as the $17 or a $37 or $47, you know, we don't know. And we, that's where we have to test each and every one of those blocks to find out how can we take someone that's never been to us, take them from make, just a click. And run them through a process where we can mathematically say, we know that when we spend X amount of money, though it doesn't come every day, boom, 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 boom. It's like the casinos. It fluctuates. But we know as a casino, we're going to make our, you know, we're making our cuts off every sure. dollar spent. Yeah. And that's what we're looking at. We're looking at our interest. Well, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's why I brought you on board because, you know, you sound like you know how to drive this process. So, and um, uh, digitally, this is all new for me. So, um, so it's good. I'm, I'm it, liking what I'm hearing. Everything is reasonable. You're, you're sparking with ideas. Uh, you give me a little bit of homework, which I'll do. I'll do a little bio to go in the ad text, um, and we can try that. <laughs> you can rip it apart and pull it out and do what you want with it. And let's focus on some, you know, using some pain points. You know, hey, I know where you've been. Here's where we. Here's how I can help you get this free. You know, so get started today for free or something. Like that. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. You know, and then let's take that and then let's let's pump that out. I mean, I'll give you an example. Look at this. Uh, wrinkle creams. Bet you wouldn't think that wrinkle creams do very well, uh, very well but they, sort of, they sell like candy. This is the tier one headlines that I wrote just initially for that campaign. This was the initial campaign uh, stuff. So out of all these headlines, I was able to find, you know, these were the ones that worked best. You know. The black ones. Um, yeah. So, um, well, not necessarily. I mean, the, the red ones are the ones that I was using to, to take out because I have different count. I mean, this is an old document, so it, it's different. But see, here's the middle of the funnel, for example. 
And, you know, we're, we're using, you know, we're talking about the product here, whereas more of we're talking about people, people's problems up here. Or I'm going to give you a secret, a trick. I'm going to teach you a system. I'm going to lead you, make it easy, uh, get better, be better, be awesome, whatever. The, that's what pe people love that stuff. People love tricks and uh, secrets. They think that there's everything's a trick and a secret, I guess. And, and, mm -hmm. it, and it, it's not that it's a trick or secret. It's a, it's a process. So we need to focus on here are the steps you can take to become successful, more successful. Here's how the steps you can take to make more money, get more time, have more freedom, and do what you want, and do it how you want it, rather than how everybody else wants you to do it, or because you have to do it because you can't afford, you know, to walk away from it because you know you got to pay the bills. So, for example, you know, you can see how many times it takes, how much it takes just to get things run through. You're looking at the middle of the funnel. And then, you know, the bottom, you know, it's all incentivized, you know, get it now, get it now, get off, you know, and that's just retargeting. That's walking people through the steps. So same thing we're going to do here. And, and we're going to, you know, I think these, the steps that we're going to take right now is the first in many, um, this campaign right here, I'm going to tell you now this, this campaign, you know, four weeks from now, we'll never even remember it. Uh, so it, 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 it'll be, it, I mean, this, do not fall in love with this one. This is, this is simply just, we're, we're throwing it out there and seeing what comes back to us. And based on that, we're going to use what we just talked about today. And we're going to get better and we're going to target the need. We're going to give them a reason to go ahead and give us their information and become a member. Sounds good. All righty. Any, any questions? No, no. I think uh, you got my head spinning now. So I've got a lot, a uh, lot to do. Um, let, so let me do that and I'll get back to you and, um, that, that'll do for today. That's plenty. That's a good report. Thank you. And uh, it's not so much the report even it's, uh, it gives me, this is the first time I really get inside your head as to how you work and how you think. Um, so, you know, I'm getting to know you too and, and your discipline. So all of that's good. That's, uh, that's a good first meeting. Um, so when do we meet next? Let's see what's today, Friday. Um, I'm going white water rafting tomorrow. Here's what I'd like but to do. I'll like be working. Go I'd like, what I'd like to do is I'd like to meet you daily. It doesn't have to be this long. I'd like to meet you daily where you can block at least half an hour out for me. We don't have to use the full half an hour. Yeah. And we certainly don't want to have an hour long meeting, but let's just dedicate half an hour each day. And it would be extremely helpful to me and my PA if we could just lock in a particular time so we don't have to think, is it 2.30, is it 5.30, is it... Right. You know, so we just know X time is uh, JD and Canelm time, and that's it. Listen, can we do it, can we do it like at noon or at 1 p.m. Eastern time every day? Yeah. That would help me. Right now, yeah. the kids are out of school during the summer, so uh, the morning times is... I'm, I'm having to... I work 16 hours a day at the moment, so I'm a hypocrite about all this freedom, but um, I'm expanding. <laughs> well, yeah, so 12 noon, yeah. uh, um, this is one of three businesses I'm currently launching, so I'm a, I'm a spastic for doing it. But Now, um, tomorrow, now tomorrow, tomorrow yeah. I'm actually going, I'm actually going whitewater rafting tomorrow up in uh no, I don't, don't forget the weekends, weekends are out. What we can, we can, I don't mind meeting with you tomorrow, but if you don't mind, I'll, uh, I'm, I'm going to be traveling up tonight, so I'll be on the road and, and I'll be on my laptop and I'll be working, you know, managing up my other client stuff. But I'll be able to work with you tonight, especially, and then you know tomorrow evening I will be able to do the same when I come off the water, and then on uh, uh, you know a little bit on Sunday afternoons. But then, yes, once we resume on the weeks weekdays, I can work so with you. Then. So I don't work on the weekend. So you don't? Okay. So one, um, so we'll make it 1 p.m. is our standard time for half an hour. We only need half an hour, I think, okay? Uh, 1 p.m. daily. You're saying an exception to the rule will be tomorrow. If, yeah, if you don't, I mean, if, now you said you don't work weekends, right? So Saturday and Sunday are out? Yeah, I don't work weekends. Okay. Monday through Friday, I'm, I'm good with that. I'm sorry. Okay, great. Easy. 
that's it, I think. I'll send you an Good. invitation for yeah. 1 p.m. You just accept it and then we know what the half hour slot is. And yeah, it'd be easier for me, especially about noon's about when I come alive uh, upstairs. It takes me a little bit, especially with the kids being here during the morning. So in order to give you the full bandwidth that I've got and, and, and be creative with you, it's, I think that would be a good time every day. But certainly we need to speak sometime over this weekend. Stand, well, if you don't work, I mean, I understand I, I have to still work weekends. So I don't work as much on weekends, but I still I still have to grind, you know, at least four or five hours. Um, but, you know, you know, if you'll send me, you know, well, is there any way that you'd be able to send me some of this stuff before the weekend? Because I would like to get these campaigns yes. out over the weekend. That way on Monday we can be talking yes. about more. Then just yes. well, I'm, I'm, well, shit. I'm, we've got I'm, fifteen I'm, clicks. That's it. Time is three thirty. I'm dedicating the rest of the working day to getting copy to you for the ad uh, texts. So the weekend starts at midnight, right? For me, probably. Solid. So uh, I'll be on the road to about ten, eleven o'clock tonight. So I'll be able to work the whole time. I'm not going to drive. So. Um, yeah, just, just go ahead and stay in touch with me. Let's go ahead and pump out these new campaigns. I would really, I think we need to look at some, some new different images. I mean, let's get crazy here. Sure. Let's, let's. Okay. So, so what do you need? Um, so because I'm, I'm very self-conscious. The photographs you've got are five years old. There's only two of them. And well, let's, let's, let's uh, branch out from that. Let's, let's get away from, let's get away from that. Uh, and let's start, let's start looking at stuff like this where we can build us a light box business fresh. You know, because we're just trying to get people to stop and, you know, yeah, stuff like this. I mean, you know, this, this can, I mean, you know, I don't know about that, that, maybe that, I mean. Yeah, so somebody with frustration, they got problems. That's that. a good one. <laughs> yeah, right. Or this right. one. I like this one. Right. Yeah, I'm going to create you a lot box. One second. Right. Uh, Yay. 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 And a little old. Probably. Probably. Remember our age group. This probably resonate. This would resonate. I like that. That's cool. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, that's funny. Cool. Yes. 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 Yeah. There's a whole stack of these on shutter stock. Yep. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, so, I mean, you know, I would go, especially with the 30 age group, I would go with the, the hair, the beard. I mean, that's pretty much just a trend thing here. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I mean, you know, we can get creative. I mean, you know, we can, you know, do all kinds of stuff here and it doesn't have to be just within this realm. It doesn't have to be someone that's so depressing, you know, we, you know, you can even use, you know, uh, no, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can try. I mean, okay. next, that's a good one. Mm, let's say, Uh, but I'm with you. I mean, you've got a stack of uh, Shutterstock uh, stuff, and um, you, you're focusing on the pain points, the frustrations, the fears, the anxieties, the uh, anger, the uh, anxiousness, you know, things aren't quite going right, why aren't they going right? You know, now we're talking Entrepreneur's Life, come and join Entrepreneur's Life, we've been there, we've done that, we understand what you're going through, etc., etc. Here, I'm going to send you this whiteboard, and you can do it with, with it as you please. Oh, so what, write copy to that? Is that what you're saying? I'm gonna I'm gonna give you this whiteboard I just created for you. You can you can go and if you see anything that inspires you, you know, grab them. If you don't, don't, don't worry about it. 
So, all right, so we've got this done. If you just want to give me the copy, I'll get things taken care of my end, and, and we're gonna to have to just keep iterating. Obviously, we've got this campaign running. We've got another one running with a little bit of a variation on it. Um, we're just gonna keep putting it out there and making it better. And like I said, we, we really use the data to circle off of, and that's what we're gonna do. Okay. So, and I mean, even, you know, even testing new audiences is absolutely, absolutely gonna be in, in, the, in the cards here shortly. Okay. I'm with you, man. Let me get writing. All, all right. right. Sounds good. Thanks. Thanks for all your help and expertise. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.